In this week's AMT Fresh Market Overview, we discuss the effect of the high rainfall on market prices and also discuss our market expectations for the coming three months with very interesting trends emerging. All in this week's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. This outlook is made possible by Standard Bank that plays a crucial role across the full agribusiness value chain from what happens on the farm and beyond the farm gate right up to when the farm's product reaches the retailer's shelves. Because of this, they understand the full agricultural ecosystem and the trends and risks across the sector. And they're able to give guidance on the right finance, insurance and working capital solutions at every stage. Standard Bank, it can be. Was the Hilux born a legend? No. It was made one by you. Hi, I'm Johnny van Amarwe and welcome to this week's AMT Fresh Market Overview made possible by Standard Bank, Nile Marketplace and Halfway Toyota. Looking at the latest economic indicators, the Rand stayed relatively stable the past week and traded on 15 Rand 3 cents per US dollar, while the latest Brent crude oil price traded relatively sideways this year so far on $56.90 per barrel. But with that said, let's go and see what happened to the latest vegetable prices the past week. Last week, the potato price decreased again to 31 Rand 6 cents per 10 kg bag, with high volume still affecting this market negatively. The expectation over the next three months is that the price may stay on a lower level and that volumes can trend mostly upwards. The tomato price increased by 24% week on week to 5 Rand 82 per kilogram. The feeling from the market is that this price might pick up slightly this week due to higher demand currently on the markets. We may also see lower production from especially the northern regions due to constant rainfall. However, the Western Cape region is coming into production now which can put pressure on prices in this region. As can be seen, the longer term price expectation is upwards over the coming three months. The carrot price increased last week by 22% to 3.64 per kilogram, mostly due to high demand locally and abroad. This price may increase sharply soon as many producers are negatively affected by high rainfall, which can limit supplies to the market. The longer term expectation is that this price will likely continue to increase at least until April, with lower volumes expected over this period. The onion price decreased by 3% to 3 rand 84 per kilogram last week. Volumes are still increasing on the market, which is likely to stay on a higher level over the next two months at least. Prices can therefore remain sideways this month, but higher expected demand can support prices slightly in March and April again. The latest cabbage price traded on 2 rand 34, while garlic prices increased to 97 rand 12 per kilogram. We are currently expecting the garlic price to stay in an upward trend as volumes will most likely continue to decrease on the markets. Spinach prices doubled the last week to 4 rand 85 per kilogram due to lower volumes available on the markets. Longer term, we are expecting prices to continue increasing as volumes may become scarcer on the market. Sweet potatoes traded on 7 rand 14 and the latest pepper price on 7 rand 68 per kilogram last week. This segment was of course made possible by Nile Marketplace, aiming to use technology to make nutritious food available across the continent in a safe, easy and transparent way. Go and click on the link below to go check out the amazing website and platform they created for online fresh produce trading. Looking into the fruit market, the cold weather is also resulting in lower volumes as some producers can't get into the fields at the moment. This will have a positive effect on prices, however, this weather is also resulting in lower demand on the markets as many hawkers can't trade at the moment and don't have access to clients and the market. The latest banana price traded on 5 Rand 95 last week, but there is significantly lower volumes this week, which is supporting prices at the moment. Looking longer term, we are still expecting large volumes for this month, but the lower volumes in March and April can support prices again. 
The latest Apple and Pear prices traded on 10 Rand 4 cents and 8 Rand 32 per kilogram respectively. The longer term price expectation for both these commodities are downward with Apple volumes expected to increase in March and Pear volumes that already increased uh, on the markets. The latest orange price traded on 8 Rand 84 which can still stay on a higher level during this month. The latest avocado price decreased to 30 rand 80 per kilogram. It is expected that avocado volumes will increase significantly over the next three months, which can put severe pressure on this price. The latest tail grape price traded on 16 rand 58 per kilogram last week. We may see that volumes will likely remain on a higher level in February and March, keeping prices under pressure during this time. However, prices can start trending slightly upwards in April as volumes are likely to start decreasing then. Other fruit prices traded as follows. Mangoes on 10 Rand 91, pineapples on 14 Rand 82, peaches on 10 Rand 83, lemons on 10 Rand 34 and blueberries on 160 Rand 36 per kilogram last week. Make sure to go click on the halfway to Yota link below to request a new quote or submit your current quote or make sure to contact Andrew and his excellent team at Halfway Toyota for the best service countrywide. This broadcast was of course made possible by Standard Bank, Null Marketplace and Halfway Toyota. I'm Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.